island right now and it's just past 8 in the morning. I just got a shower. Uh, Isabel's family is very, very nice. Um, her parents don't speak any English, uh, so it's a little tricky. Isabel and her sister have to interpret for me, but they're very, very nice. Last night we went out to dinner, um, my first actual restaurant here, and oh my gosh, the food is so good, you guys. I had like carpaggio de boeuf, and like the slices of meat were like paper thin. Um, and you got like a tiny little salad with it, and french fries, <laughs> which taste just like American french fries. You know, so what I've noticed is the food here, it's all about the quality of the food, not the quantity. So that's why they take their time to taste their food. It's about the quality of the food. And it was really, really good. Um, so it was a nice treat. Uh, for me, my first restaurant, not just a kaipali. So we had dinner like really late at night. It was like past eight at night when we had dinner. And that's the usual for them here. And now I'm starving. Because <laughs> I ate like 12 hours ago, so I am very hungry. And I smell bread downstairs, so I'm gonna go see what's for dinner. Oh, and the bed I slept in last night, like Everything's tiny here. The bed doesn't even come up to my knees. It's so cute. Everything's tiny. Her family is very, very short. Um, it's very... the roads are tiny. Um, everything is so small compared to things in America. Because, you know, we're like, oh yeah, bigger's better. So, it's very, very different. But any hoosies, I am going to go get something to eat before I pass out, like, starving. <laughs> Isabelle's Island, um, the Moutier? Noir Moutier. Noir Moutier. And we are going by, um, we're going back to the mainland, not via the bridge that goes way up above the water, but the bridge that regular, regularly gets flooded with the tide. And there's a seagull that's just kind of flying right in front of us. And it's not going away. Now it's going away. <laughs> okay, but here's the road, and here's the ocean the road an ocean <laughs> it's right there like I feel like one gust of wind and we're goners so it's kind of freaky but it's really cool and you can like regularly see rainbows going across here um, there was a Medusa uh, on the road a really big one a big jellyfish Medusa and they have these poles here in case your car drowns, so you climb up on the pole, you lose your car, but you're at better, uh, you have a better chance of getting rescued then. So this road goes on for, what was it, four kilometers? Three miles. Three miles, four kilometers about. And if you can see, way over there, that's the regular bridge that goes really high up, um, so it doesn't get flooded with the tide. There's another rainbow over there. I can't tell if they can see it on camera. But there it is, another rainbow. Very, very faint. And there's people that uh, go out here during low tide and collect stuff. The water is right there. That is pretty cool. So whether you can see the rainbow or not, I decided that that rainbow means that we're not going to get flooded on this road. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> I decided that rainbow means we're going to survive this trip on this road. <laughs> but yeah, we're fine. The, well, it's low tide right now, so we're not going to get flooded. It's just really freaky. <laughs> This is special. Yeah, it is special. And what is the first thing that you see when you reach the mainland? A restaurant. <laughs> Yay, we survived. Let's get something to eat. <laughs> By the way, Isabel's mom made this like really simple but really yummy um, gateau cake. Um, and she let me keep a big piece of it for later on. Yay! So, 
I gotta write down that recipe because it's so easy, but it was so good. It's just a great thing to have with coffee. Other things I learned on this island, Isabel's father was the mayor of one of the towns on that island, uh, Nua Aputier. There were some forts there um, built by the Germans. And American pilots came and crashed uh, right near the German uh, buildings. Um, he was trying to save um, the people um, from the islands, the French people. Uh, and Isabel met him later on and introduced, or met his brother later on and introduced um, him to a girl who saw him crash, his brother crash. And they got um, the pilot on the phone and it was really moving, uh, she says. So that's really cool, uh, being able to be part of history. Cows, flink. The cows here are usually like white and almost furry looking, very different from the Wisconsin dairy cows. Go cheese heads. So we're heading back home so we can get some work done before the school day starts again tomorrow. School week starts again tomorrow. Bye.